Hello everyone. Welcome to the session number 2 of the same chapter 4 that is reproductive health. In the last session we understood the contraceptive methods prevention of conception that is said to be contraception and there are two types one is said to be uh, temporary second one is said to be permanent. Now in this session we will understand sexually transmitted disease also known as venereal disease or STD sexually transmitted disease as the name itself indicates disease transmitted during sexual intercourse that is said to be sexually transmitted disease disease that is transmitted during sexual intercourse some of the diseases are gonorrhea that is caused due to nizeria gonorrhea syphilis it is caused due to tryponema pallidum genital herpes cause due to herpes simplex virus and then the fourth one chlamydiasis that is caused due to chlamydia trochomatis and then genital warts it is caused due to human papilloma virus next is the trichomonasis caused due to protozoa Hepatitis B that is caused due to Hepatitis B virus and Aquar Immunodeficiency Syndrome that is AIDS caused due to Human Immunodeficiency Virus. So these are the sum of the examples of sexually transmitted disease. Some of the infections like Hepatitis B and AIDS that is transmitted through the surgical instrument, contaminated surgical instrument from one person to another person and also contaminated blood from one person to another person. Except genital herbs, hepatitis B and AIDS remaining diseases are curable if detected early and treated properly. Early symptoms in case of male is very common so that it includes itching, slight pain in the abdomen and then fluid discharge, swelling in the genital organ. In case of female it is asymptomatic hence it is undetected for a longer time. This may be leads to uh, so many complications later that includes pelvic inflammatory disease, abortion, stillbirth, infertility and the reproductive tract cancer. To avoid sexually transmitted disease, we have to follow some of the principle. To avoid sexual intercourse with unknown partner or multiple partner and then we have to use condom during sexual intercourse. So this is about the sexually transmitted disease, diseases are transmitted during sexual intercourse. Next we will move on to infertility. Inability to conceive a child is said to be infertility. Inability to conceive a child is said to be infertility. So what are the causes of infertility in males? First is ill-developed testis. In case of male, first is ill-developed testis and then hormonal imbalance and then there is a blockage in the vas difference and then sexually transmitted disease and some of the diseases like diabetes that also one of the important causes. Next is oligospermia, low sperm count, low sperm count that is said to be oligospermia, impotency that means the penis cannot erect properly so that there is uh, no fertilization, azospermia 
that is the motility of the sperm is very less azoospermia that is an absence of motility in the sperm so these are the some causes that is present in male i repeat infertility means it is a inability to conceive a child in case of male first is ill developed testis hormonal imbalance azoospermia that is nothing but the motility of the sperm is absent and then oligospermia low sperm count and then there is a blockage in the vas deferens and the diseases like diabetes and then mental stress and then um, some of the sexually transmitted disease so these are all some of the causes in males infertility in females so first is ill developed ovaries ill developed uterus hormonal imbalance there is a blockage in the fallopian tube and then there is a tumor that is present in the uterus or maybe cyst or fibroids that are present in the uterus and some of the infection and one of the main causes is due to stress so these are the infertility in both males and female to overcome infertility we have to go for assisted reproductive technologies assisted reproductive technologies so what is meant by this assisted reproductive technologies this is nothing but in vitro fertilization in vitro fertilization that means ivf in vitro fertilization fertilization that takes place outside the female body that is said to be in vitro fertilization this is commonly said to be test tube baby so what's meant by in vitro fertilization in vitro outside that is lab in vitro fertilization means fertilization takes place outside the body of the female that is said to be in vitro fertilization so here what they do is first they collect egg from the female like that the semen from the male and these two are mixed in a test tube that contains a nutritive media that results in the formation of a zygote now the zygote is directly inserted into the uterus of the female that is said to be zygote intra fallopian transfer so first one is the zygote intra fallopian transfer means here the egg is collected from the female like that the semen is collected from the male these two mixed in a test tube that containing nutritive media that results in the formation of zygote now the zygote is directly injected into the uh, uterus of female and the further development that takes place inside the uterus that is said to be zygote intra fallopian transfer now coming to the second one embryo transfer here what happens same thing Fe from the female egg is collected from the male semen is collected these two mixed in a test tube that results in the formation of zygote now that zygote is transferred into another nutritive media for the cleavage process that results in the formation of an embryo so that is nothing but blastocyst that blastocyst or the embryo is now directly injected or inserted into the uterus of the female for further development that is said to be embryo transfer coming to the third one is gamete intra fallopian transfer 
here what happens the egg is collected from the healthy donor or the female that egg is now directly injected into the another female that female cannot produce ovulation or egg that is said to be what do you call gamete intrafilopian transfer so what is meant by gamete intrafilopian transfer egg is collected from the healthy female or the donor that egg is directly injected or inserted into the fallopian tube of another female then there will be a fertilization takes place and further development that takes place inside that female that is said to be what do you call gamete intrafallopian trans last is intracytoplasmic sperm transfer intracytoplasmic sperm transfer intracytoplasmic sperm transfer that means artificial insemination that means the semen is collected from the donor or husband that is directly injected into the female reproductive tract that is said to be what do you call uh, intracytoplasmic sperm transfer this is also known as artificial insemination so now when there is an infertility that occurs in either male or a female we have to go for assisted reproductive technologies or techniques that is nothing but in vitro fertilization fertilization that takes place in the laboratory or outside the female body here what happens egg is collected from the female sperm or the semen is collected from the male these two are mixed in the test tube that contains a nutritive proper nutritive media and that results in the formation of zygote now the zygote is directly inserted into the uterus of the female that is said to be zygote intrafallopian transfer now this zygote is again transferred into another nutritive media for the development of embryo or blastocyst now the blastocyst is directly injected or inserted into the uterus of the female so that it gets implanted there and then the further development that takes place inside the uterus then coming to the gamete intrafallopian transfer in this case what happens the egg is collected from the healthy female and that egg is now directly inserted or injected into the fallopian tube of another female and then last is the intracytoplasmic sperm transfer this is nothing but artificial insemination in couple what happens if there is an impotency or any other infertility then we have to go for this artificial insemination so that the semen is collected from the donor healthy donor so that the semen is directly now injected into the uterus of the female then there will be a fertilization takes place so this is about the assisted reproductive technique so that this completes the chapter number 4 that is first is the uh, sexually transmitted diseases what are sexually transmitted diseases what are the some examples and the causative organisms and then infertility inability to conceive a child that is infertility what are the causes in both males and females if there is infertility that occurs in either male or female we have to go for assisted reproductive techniques that is nothing but in vitro fertilization fertilization that takes place outside the female body or in the laboratory that is said to be ivf there are different uh, steps zygote intrafallopian transfer embryo transfer gamete intrafallopian transfer and then intracytoplasmic sperm 
transfer that is artificial insemination. I hope you understood this session. Thank you.